All right, bitches. Okay, so I have I recorded like a million videos and then I didn't. I recorded one video and I was looking back on it and I was editing it and I was bored and I was yawning and I was like, what the fuck is this? I like, this is actually horrible. I'm bored. And if I'm bored, everyone will be bored and I don't want to be bored. I don't want anyone to be bored. So I'm gonna just try to be a little bit more exciting, put a little bit more energy out there. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to be bored at any point of this. This is just for fun, okay? Okay, so anyway, I got these pair of jeans, hold on. I went to the thrift store I, with a friend and I bought these jeans like months ago, okay? So uh, hear me out, flower embroidery, super cute. It continues down the jean. The thing is, if these were baggy, perfect. I was thinking though, I have no jorts, okay? And you know how jorts, like the, the baggy, like, baggy jorts are really popular right now bitch i don't have any this is like the closest thing i have to it and they're like sweat shorts i don't know what like i just call them sweat shorts i don't know what you would call that so i was thinking let me get these and then i'll just cut them so they can be cute shorts cute jorts that have flower embroidery right right okay so the problem is let me put these on problem is these are a lot skinnier than i thought they were gonna be when i bought them my thrift store doesn't have a changing room for like safety reasons or something so these don't fit how i want them to let me i look like a mom in the suburbs. And not saying that that's a bad thing, it just isn't the vibe that I wanna be. And it's like, I don't like that it touches my skin so tightly. The the plan, the plan, that's oh, crooked now. My original plan to just cut them like here and to just have nice baggy shorts out the window. So it's not gonna be that easy, but I'm not just gonna give up like that. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna take out my sewing machine that I don't know how to use and try to sew this bitch because I'm not gonna spend $4 on something that I'm just gonna, that's just gonna sit in my closet. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut them where I want to cut them. And then I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna cut into the sides of the jeans and then like use the fabric that I cut off and put it in the slits to make it wider, make the leg wider. Does that make any sense? Like at all? Because, okay, so that's my plan. So even if I was absolutely fucking horrible at explaining that, I'm just gonna do it and show you guys as I go along. Also keep in mind that I have no idea what I'm doing. The most sewing that I've done is I've, I've cut a long skirt and then hemmed it and that still looked bad. So I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but hey, it, the thing, my, the way I'm like thinking about this is like either I'm gonna be sitting with these skinny jeans forever or I'm gonna try to do something about it. And if it turns out bad, I'm not gonna wear them and then I'll just be back at square one, which isn't horrible, I guess. I can just go get normal jeans, but I don't wanna spend the money on that. So do you guys understand the conundrum that I'm in? So, okay, so I'm gonna start that. So I think I'm gonna start by figuring out what length I want them to be. So I'm gonna go look at like, um, I'm gonna go look at some, I'm gonna pull up, pull up some inspiration and some inspo pics from Pinterest and try to figure out if I can do this. All right, so after consulting Pinterest for about like two minutes, just to show you guys the amount of commitment that I have to this, um, I'm thinking a lot of jorts are like knee length or like pretty long and I don't want it that long personally. I because I, I don't know, it, it, it reaches like, what are they called? Like capri? Like the, whatever fucking pant reaches, <laughs> reaches like right there. It reaches that territory for me mentally and I don't like those. So I'm gonna go a little, I wanna try to aim to have these end right above the knee area, maybe mid thigh. Because these right now, like these sweatshorts that I have, they're kind of like upper mid thigh. I kind of want it above, right above the knee. So what I'm thinking is I also want a thick hem, like a thick layer at the bottom. So I'm gonna cut it like at the knee and then thick hem it up. And then I can always cut more off. My issue now is I don't know how to cut clothing correctly. I, I, I don't know how to make it straight on both sides. So I'm gonna just try, make it as like 
fit the, whatever is possible and then just measure down with like a measuring tape and then just cut it, try to make it straight. If it's not completely straight, that's fine. This whole, this whole project's just like a, a, a pot of, like, I don't even know. This whole project's like just nothing. So I'm just gonna commit to it, I guess. So now that I'm here with the great angles, I don't wanna, I wanna reiterate this point like a million times in this video. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm, I'm filming this whole thing on my phone, okay? None of this is gonna be like top level crap that's going on here. So just like stick with me. We'll see where this goes. So I got the jeans, I got measuring tape and I got a marker. So before anyone says like, oh, you're supposed to use whatever. Hey, I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, I've used a sewing machine once. You should just be grateful that I know what the word hem means, okay? I'm thinking like, I'm trying to make sure there's nothing else that I like, I'm like needing to think through before I do this. Like, is there any other step? Ugh, fuck it, I, this doesn't matter. You know what I should have done? I should have measured how long it was on my knee when I was still wearing them. Cause now I don't know where my knee sits. This looks like knee marks. Can y'all tell I'm taking this very seriously? All right, so the knee marks are right here. You know, what I, you know what I'm talking about? Like the knee marks, like the the parts of the fabric that look like there's been knees in them. That part. So I'm just gonna take the measuring tape and I'm gonna measure. Okay. So around the knee mark, say is like. 19 inches? I should just look up like what jort lengths are. <laughs> That's a thing, right? If I were to like go order jorts and be like, oh, this is a 19 inch length jort. <sighs> this is all, this is all, this is all custom. I don't need to copy anything except for the pictures on Pinterest. Pinterest will tell me the way. I'm gonna go 19 inches. I'm gonna go 19. Hopefully that doesn't annoy me later. All right, so I got the marks on. I don't know if it's the same on each pant leg, so let me just see. It's like almost the same. <laughs> Should I get like fabric scissors? Yeah. I got scissors that say fabric on them, so should be pretty fabric-y. My one worry is that this side is longer than this side because that's what it kind of looked like. I'm sure there's a lot more planning I could be taking here that I'm just not, so. There's that. All right, y'all, I'm gonna commit. Okay, it's been done. What are these as like leg warmers? What if this was like a thing? You know, like what if like instead of pants, people wore like the opposite? So like you'd wear nothing <laughs> opposite of shorts. What would that be called? Trash, trash, trash. Okay, we're gonna do the other leg now. All right, cut the other one. You know what I could do like this and then I just, oh my God, dude, I'm a genius just fold it and then it's like the same. So even if it's not perfect, at least it's not perfect together. T together. I'm like meticulously stretching it all out as if that helps at all. Uh, I know I'm nervous. It's not like I'm, wearing, I'm wasting a good pair of pants, right? These are at the thrift store. Someone got rid of them. Someone didn't want them. I'm hoping I can like reuse that. All right, so now I got this. See, this was my original idea. I was thinking I could just do this and then wear it as is, but the thing is they're too short. So it would be like jort, jort jeggings, but shorts. I'm gonna try these on, see what they look like now. All right, so they're definitely a little higher. I wanted to go like right at the knee. I think that when I hem it, it'll like be a good length. So let's continue. So my idea is I'm gonna cut up here and then insert like a triangular piece to make the leg wider. Does that make sense? Let me just spend a couple minutes thinking through that to see if that'll actually work out. <laughs> okay, so here's where I'm at. 
I was thinking I could just cut in the middle, like inside, because if I cut there, there's already a seam there. If I do mess up, it won't be as noticeable, I think, because it'll be on the inside, but I think that'll just make it weirder in a lot of ways, and I have to think about it a lot more because of the crotch area. If I cut in the middle, it won't mess up the designs on the sides, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna mess it up because it is gonna be easier for me. Ugh. Let's, let's change out of these. Here's my thing. I think that this is gonna work because it like has to. Like I, there's no other option in my mind for this to go other than exactly how I want it to. And I don't know if that's gonna like, I don't know if that's gonna like help me or if that's just gonna make me disappointed. More disappointed than I would be if I had realistic expectations. Okay, so now my issue is I don't know how far up I need to like cut this. I don't wanna mess up with the waist because the waist fits me fine, I guess. Oh, there's no pockets. I was like, so am I gonna mess up the pockets? No, because there's no pockets in women's clothing. Because if I just like, let me just start, start cutting it. My idea is that I could just cut around the embroidery so then it looks cool. I'm not gonna elaborate more on that. Thank you. Okay, so where I'm at right now is I cut so I, this, I cut out like around the embroidery so that when it's done I can show you guys what I mean. <laughs> so I cut up right up to the pocket. I put them on and see like where I want the mobility. Like I kind of just like did a little dance. And so I kind of cut it up right to where the pocket should be, but where it's not. And so I'm gonna do the same on the other side. And then I'm gonna take this and just kind of cut this open. So that's like one long piece of denim. And I'm gonna do that with that as well. So I'm gonna finish that. I'm gonna cut up this now. All right, so now I'm here. I got these two just flat pieces of denim and then the two open sides of the jorts. So now what I'm thinking, putting this layer inside this cut so that it extends the fabric out like that and then i'm just gonna sew along and it doesn't really matter if it's super neat because i said so so now i'm gonna try to figure out how the fuck i'm gonna do that <laughs> so this is kind of what i'm thinking here put the fabric inside it's just pinned up right now and i'm gonna just sew it down it won't be like crumpled up it's gonna be like kind of nice like that so you kind of see how it's coming together there it's not even sewed yet and i'm kind of getting excited <laughs> but um i'm gonna sew it down like that and so I try to figure out, I'm gonna vibe it and just kind of see how much I want, how much room I want around this. Try to keep that going throughout the whole thing so that's straight. So I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> All right, so obviously I've made so much progress. I just laid it out. I'm increasing, this is like seven and a half inches All together. This is like 11 and a half inches. I just folded the piece in half so that the thigh is gonna be around 11 and a half. So I'm just gonna think that that's gonna work. Oh my God, it looks absurd. Okay, but it's it's gotta work because in my mind, there's no other possible way that this could work out. So if I just will it, it it'll, it'll come to fruition. I believe in it. This is my sewing machine. Everyone say hi. Hi. So ideally, the thread I would be using would be golden, like the rest of the jean is. However, I think green would be a good color. And not just because that's the color that's already in the machine and threaded up. So, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, many of you. Okay, so, I don't know where to start with the sewing process. I have all I have all of my seven pins here in rainbow order. Good old layer of dust on them, just to remind me how I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm thinking I'm just gonna pin it and pretend like I know why I'm doing that, and then just sew. My one part, my one concern, as I'm gonna pretend like I have no other concerns, is that I'm I don't know how to sew. Like, do I keep this other side blunt? Because I don't want to sew through both sides, so... I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. It's taking me 40 fucking minutes to pin this one line. Ugh. 
I'm complaining as if I didn't put myself into the situation. <laughs> So after, after hours, it's been like 10 minutes, I got my little pedal here and I'm just gonna go for it. I have this side all pinned up, as you can see, since the denim is no longer falling out. give you guys a close-up real quick because i just finished one side just so you guys can see the monstrosity i'm dealing with and so that maybe you can even empathize with me and give me the pity and the emotion that i oh so crave let me just pick up these pins that i was just chucking around um so this is where i'm at right now <laughs> I don't really know what I'm looking at. I'm just trying not to sew over a double thing. So I'm gonna take it out for a quick moment of truth, see where we're at. All right, guys, excitingly, I think this worked. So the green actually blends in really well and I didn't over sew anything. It's all fine. Um, there's the end stitch right there. So it all's together. And I think that's honestly way better than I thought I was gonna get for going into this blind. So I'm just gonna do that on this other side that I have pinned down. And then I'll try it on just to see how this side turned out. All right, y'all, so this is where we're at right now. So I just finished sewing both sides. So something's happening, for sure. The one thing I was worried about that's happening is it's kind of like hugging my thigh here, but it's like kind of poofed out here. So um, I'm kind of thinking if I just hem it and like make it even, it'll just kind of come together, which I don't think is gonna happen, but I'm just kind of hoping it will. <laughs> so that's just kind of where I'm at right now. <laughs> so, I mean, they didn't look bad, honestly. Like, for ripping something up and not knowing what I'm doing at all, this could be a lot worse. So I'm just gonna do all of what I did on the other side. So about an hour later, this is where we're at with it. So it is a little funny, I will admit, especially around the crotch area. I don't, <laughs> I don't really know what's going on there, but if I just can cover it with baggy clothing, I think it's fine. So I'm just kind of gonna hem it and hope and pray that I won't have to do anything else because I really don't want to. But I think what I'm gonna have to end up doing is taking in a bit because this peaks a little too much. Like if I, I don't know if I can like, I just have a wide stance. I think what I should have done is take, take some from the side and then take some from the inner part of my leg as well. Cause it's kind of like, it hugs my inner part <laughs> too much and it's fine, but I should have cut a little bit from the middle. So it would be like baggy all around. Cause right now it just like, it like hugs too much and I should have taken that in account for, but honestly, I think it could be a lot worse. So let me just cut this up and hem it and clean it up. See where we're at. <laughs> This is the final product. I'm happy for spending $3 and five hours roughly of my time. I think it could be so much worse. I'm kind of embracing the fact that it like weird ugly is kind of the whole vibe of jorts because I don't know what I'm looking at. And I think that's the beauty of it. And if I think if I just pair it with the right clothes, I look as weird as everyone is trying to look in jorts, and I support the movement. I stand, I stand with the movement. So I was really bad about recording that whole process. So if this video is like weirdly short and I there's like three clips of me sewing, not even, I apologize for that. But I made jorts, I made jorts guys, and I didn't have to go out and buy any. So I probably, that probably would have been better in the long run, honestly. Uh, so yeah, that's it. That's the video. 